In this episode, how do you organize your wedding? Hi there, bridal couples to be. Welcome to How to Get Married in Holland. The ultimate wedding podcast of and about the Netherlands. We, wedding ceremony experts, aka celebrants Daphne and Jasperin, share all ins and outs of getting married in our flat and fabulous country. Enjoy listening. Yes, so today's episode is all about the secret of a well-organized wedding. How to go about that. Well, of course, there are various options. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here talking about this uh, this uh, subject. So you could do your own DIY wedding um, to yourself. Do everything by yourself. Start planning well ahead of time. It takes a lot of time. You need to do the research yourself. Um, and, of course, it can be done but it um, causes a lot of stress. You have to find all the vendors yourself. Not sure whether you will end up with the right one. And if you live abroad, it's even more difficult to do so. So DIY, I would say, yes, absolutely possible. Um, but why not get help? Yeah. And getting help can actually be done in different ways, depending on your budget, depending on how you want it. So, Daphne, how about getting help? Yeah, try a little help from your friends, right? Mm, yes. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, organizing your wedding day, of course, is lots of fun. You know, you're all excited, uh, looking forward to that very special day. And they call it the most beautiful day in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, But that's because the mo because it's the most organized day in your life. Yeah. And there's so yeah. many choices. So, yeah, like you said, of course you can do it yourself. But, oh, it's like a part-time job. Mm. I heard from, from my bridal couples. It mm. takes so much time mm. and so mm. much research mm. and hours of Googling and, mm. and searching. And mm. like you said, do you end up with the right uh, vendors? Mm. So, and of course uh, you can ask help um first of all from your friends mm -hmm. which can be very handy especially if you live abroad and you have friends in the netherlands who know their way but ask yourself do they know their way around in a uh, wedding wonderland really yeah. because yeah, yeah uh, um, it's a wonderland it is yeah with so many options so mm -hmm. Uh, but of course, they can do some research uh, research for you, uh, for you, especially if if they speak Dutch, because yeah. uh, many of the information is in Dutch, mm -hmm. uh, or they can translate things for you, or um, you know, be a liaison, uh, mm -hmm. bringing you in touch with with vendors, so mm -hmm. you can make the further selection. Mm -hmm. But, But that what requires I think it's a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, and 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 also, you know, in in the the preparation. I would say it's fine, but do you want to let your friends um, have a work day on your wedding day? Yeah. Because, you know, if you actually say that they are, you know, responsible, are they, if they are a master of ceremony during the day, it will, for them, it won't be a relaxing day because they will have no, to overlook. They're working. They will be working. So yeah. they um, feel, of course, especially if they are your friends, they, they will feel very responsible for yeah. making everything go smooth. And uh, they will be looking out for the tiniest details. Um, yeah, that isn't a relaxed feeling. Mm. No. And quite a responsibility, I think. So can do, but it is a responsibility. That, yeah. that sums it up. Yeah. And then the third option. Yeah, you can hire a pro. Mm. Uh, and with a pro, we mean like a, a wedding planner or a professional master of ceremony, because when you hire a, a pro, when it comes to organizing your wedding, you have like three levels of surface, surface levels. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, But, yeah, could you share something about the three levels of service? Um, you could ask for some plain wedding advice. Mm -hmm. um, like a brainstorm session, right? Yeah. 
it's it's let's say the the most low key option uh, that you can have with a, a wedding planner you have a session with with him or with her about wedding vendors locations all the possibilities so at least you are pointed in the right direction it saves you a lot of time um looking for for example a location because uh, the wedding you know, uh, planner will actually already know which are the good ones that could actually suit your taste and your budget. So it's that's the the, the short and sweet option. Um, and they could also be a master of ceremony. Um, maybe you can tell something about master of ceremony, what that means within the wedding day. Yeah. So it's an upgrade in service level. So mm -hmm. most of the time when they are your professional master of ceremony, they help you with the preparations. So the, the, the selection of your wedding team uh, mm -hmm. of vendors, uh, and they organize, uh, all, yeah, the whole wedding day itself, uh, making sure everything's going well. Um, but especially, um, yeah, making sure all vendors are up to speed on the same uh, frequency when it comes to uh, yeah appointments you have made earlier. They check your appointments with, the, with mm -hmm. your vendors. Uh, and they're the context, central context uh, for your guests mm -hmm. uh, on the day itself. Mm -hmm. But uh, you organize, do a little of organizing yourself as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like a mix of a DIY and uh, a professional help. Uh, and of course, you have the full service level, yeah. which is uh, getting your wedding planner and hire them to do the whole organization yeah. Yeah. of your wedding. Yes. Which, and that's the most relaxed option. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is the most relaxing, relaxing option because they will give you all the suggestions. They will... It will be a hassle-free day for you as well. You won't yeah. need to bother your friends. But of course... Um, that depends on the budget that you have. Yeah. Whether you go for the wedding advice, the master of ceremony, or actually uh, a full-blown wedding planning experience, um, it, uh, it 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 depends on on what you can actually spend. Yeah, and you, mm. of course you have also have wedding planners who have their own specialization. Uh, you know, you also have uh, wedding planners who also do styling. Mm. So that's a wedding planner plus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. A wedding planner yeah. who is uh, quite experienced with international weddings mm -hmm. and speak their languages. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. please yeah. look into that too. Uh, but my experience is when I'm at a wedding, when there is a professional master of ceremony yeah. or a wedding planner, mm -hmm. I feel the vibe is different. Oh, Everyone yes. is more relaxed yeah. and more enjoying themselves yeah. because there's someone with... Yeah lots of experience behind the scenes looking out for everything yes yeah. yes you know you notice that straight away also for us as wedding celebrants when you you know arrive at the location um you don't need to worry about whether the microphone is set up the right way whether there actually is a microphone now all uh, is arranged <laughs> you know, everything is arranged and you just show up and 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 do the ceremony and you know it's going to be all right um, that makes it very relaxing. Yeah, because we can focus on our job, yeah. delivering the best ceremony we yeah. can, uh, and the guest and bridal couple can focus on their job, which yeah. is enjoying themselves. Yeah. Which is what a wedding day should be about. Yeah, it is. So. Yeah. So, so if you're looking for any help uh, in selecting uh, hiring professional help, of course, we love to give you any suggestions because we have quite a large of yeah, large network. We've worked with so many people already yeah. in so many different locations that we can certainly be of help in guiding a couple through. Yeah. And also, of course, connecting you with a wedding planner who can make uh, you experiencing your wedding day with lots of laughter and joy. I think that's what it's all about. So I would say... Talk to you during the next episode. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to How to Get Married in Holland. We look forward to share more about organizing your wedding day in the Netherlands in the next episode. Hit the subscribe button so you won't miss anything. Any questions in the meantime? Please ask wedding salons Daphne or Jasperin. You can find us, plus the show notes, on Instagram. 
And if you love this podcast, please leave a review. It gives us a higher ranking, so more fun international couples with Dutch wedding plans will be able to find us. Until Until next time. time.